real or satire go? Pupil who questioned classmate identifying as a cat called despicable by teacher. Parents complain after recording emerges of teacher calling students homophobic and suggesting they, quote, go to a different school. I wish that was satire, but I think it's real. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to this education and welcome to another woke compilation video. Why do we do these videos? Well, I want to remind you guys that if you don't fall in line with the new social order, if you don't get in line with all this stuff, you don't start bending and bowing down to the new rules, you could be in big trouble. For example, in Michigan, where they passed a bill making wrong pronouns a felony, fineable up to $10,000. That could be seen as intimidation. You could get a felony. You could get $10,000 fine. That's, that's really happening. That's happening in this world, okay? So, like I said, here on Zeducation, I'm trying to Zeducate you. I'm trying to make you fall in line with the new rules of the world, okay? And I'm sick and tired of it. Use the cat pronouns. Purr and meow. Start calling me purr and meow. That's my, that's it. Start doing it. So guys, as usual with these videos, if you cringe, you lose. If you're ready for today's game, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell click for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you cringe, you lose, go. So I've been thinking about how weird it is in America. We see American flags everywhere and it's not like that in other countries. So I decided to count how many flags I see on my eight minute drive from here, the bank to Petco. To start, I already see two. One's here at the bank, other one's at the cemetery across the street. It's behind the trees, but one at the car wash, one at Andy's. One at the bank and Burger King. They got their own. Uh, someone's out. And of course there's one at the church from literally the Jesus Camp documentary. That's where this happened, by the way. And this. One at Lion's Choice. Got one at Red Lobster and one at the car wash. The big one right there. That was 12 flags in eight minutes. And I know I missed some. Does that not seem weird? The American flag is now offensive, trying to promote a very diverse group of people under one symbol. The American flag is offensive. According to this person here who thinks 12 flags flying them at businesses, which has been done forever, is weird. 12 flags in eight minutes. Very sad. Teen accepted to Stanford after writing hashtag Black Lives Matter 100 times on application. This is an older clip, but this is real. Unfortunately, uh, this is how you get into college these days. You know, it's a nice little reminder for you there. This commenter says, I'm perfectly fine with fat people, but WTF, do you mean Aryan, fat phobia, and racism are two completely separate things? But they're not. All bigotry in our culture is rooted in white supremacy. All right, we're stopping that clip there because that's idiotic uh <laughs> everything uh, it's just okay moving on bye bye binary wow they're the kids book for little babies there you go that's in bookstores apparently don't cringe don't cringe jam it to your kids they're two years old reading the book imagine a city less crowded do your part get sterilized yay what okay that can't be real stop Stop it. That is not real. Uh, sadly, I think people are doing that. You know, they're giving up having families, like literally the best part of life, and foregoing that whole fulfilling part of the life cycle to, you know, indulge in stuff like... Ugh, sad. Service information, all times. No bigotry, hatred, or prejudice allowed at this station at any time. Respect trans people or your pronouns will be was, were. <laughs> no hatred, no, not, you know, everybody love everybody, allegedly. And if you don't do what we say, was, were. If you don't bow to the new pseudoscience, the new religious cult dominating society, or dominating culture, you're was, were, man. Was, were. <laughs> Insane. Insane. We're in clown world. Injustice. How the sex offender registry destroys 
LGBT rights. Is this real? I can't, you guys, I can't tell what is satire and what is, is not anymore. What? Report. Too many whites. Men lead U.S. military. The U.S. military is too white and too male at the top and needs to change recruiting and promotion policies and lift its ban on women in combat. An independent report for Congress said Monday. Um, you know, I, I've said this before. It shouldn't matter what you look like or whatever. If you can get the job done, you can get the job done. Having quotas, you know, it is a life and death situation. You should just put whoever's going to not kill or be killed in the position. I, maybe that's old fashioned of me. From Washington Post. Yes, kink belongs at pride and I want my kids to see it. But they're kids. They don't, they don't do any of that. And they should, they're, they're kids. Their hormones aren't in their body yet. And, and they're not, what the, again, they're really putting them in men's bathroom at the University of Oregon. And they're free too, it looks like. That's amazing. <laughs> Look, even in college. You put them in there and you expect this to not happen? Amazing. Uh, that's happening at your college campuses. The whiteness of green spaces. The cyclical nature of exclusion in environmental professions. Ah, there you go. Greta. Huh? You got to say it for this one, Greta. How dare you? New York City private schools teaching sexuality curriculum in woke kindergarten classes. Kindergarten classes. There you go. They're starting to... Must be the Washington Post writer's school. Female only spa with compulsory nudity must admit transgender women with penises. Says a judge. This is, uh, where is this? Washington State? There you go. If you live in Washington State, you gotta. You have no choice now. CBC changes LGBTQIA2S plus acronym to 2STNBGC. Uh, that... There you go. I, I didn't even know the first one existed, but it's pretty hard to keep up these days. My religion? Transgenderism. Yeah, but like, what do you believe in? I believe trans people are hot. I bleed pink, white, and blue. I am sick right now. Please send thoughts and prayers. Believe whatever you want. I don't get, just next. From Bloomberg, fake meat companies promise to halt climate change, protect animals, and make people healthier while making billions. But they've turned out to be another food fad. You know, nobody predicted this. Nobody predicted that this would taste like crap uh, and it would not do well. I thought the whole public would love it, you know. you love to see it. Avoiding using ladies and gentlemen, Sadiq Khan staff are ordered not to use gender specific phrases and instead say people or Londoners in an inclusivity guide slammed as woke nonsense by critics. You know, we've had this conversation recently, but the UK, they are way further down the woke hole, which is crazy. It's hard to do because you, you look at America and it's, we're pretty far down that hole. The UK is even further. New Nashville trans shooter Audrey Aiden Hale's autopsy report shows that the transphobic, wait, what? The transphobic police officers used nearly 30 bullets to kill 28 year old trans accused. Is that, that's, is that real? Nothing about the, the shooter shooting a bunch of kids, but the, the trans, stop it. I can't, no, 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 no. I'm calling, I'm calling satire on this one. There's not a chance this is real. If it is, we are, this is sad state of affairs. A sense of betrayal. Liberal dismay as Muslim leds US city bans pride flags. Many liberals celebrated when Ham Tramp, Michigan elected a Muslim majority council in 2015, but a vote to exclude LGBTQ plus flags from city property has soured relations. Oof, tough one there. Tough one for Mich Michiganders, Michiganders, is that how you say it? Being on time is white supremacy because what are they always on time to do? Oppress. I'm always going to be 10 to 15 minutes late because that's the correct time, according to my people, according to the ones who move with. 
What? American Medical Association recommends abandoning BMI, citing racism. That's right. Uh, scientifically measuring body mass index, dictating whether someone is overweight or obese is not okay. It's racist. Nation's first elected transgender state rep arrested on child porn charges. Really? Mm. That ain't good. UK government plans to let children change gender at school. What did I just say about the UK? Um, there you go. All you uh, parents out there in the UK. I know lots of you guys watch. Apparently your kid can change their gender at school if they want. I know that happens here too. But veteran biology professor who teaches scientific fact that sex is determined by chromosomes X and Y is fired after four students walked out of his reproductive class, accusing him of religious preaching. Chromosomes. Scientific data that we've collected for however many years is now a religious preach, religious preaching. Follow this. Remember that the same crowd, follow the science, follow the science. And here that same crowd is doing this. <laughs> cringy Lewis, cringy Lewis. Plus size influencer Jay Lynn Cheney slams discriminatory airline seat policies. That's right. It's not fair, man. If you need two seats, you should only pay for one. That's just how it should go, ma'am. Reuters investigation finds that President Biden and every living former U.S. president, with the exception of Donald Trump, are direct descendants of slaveholders. <laughs> Badum ting! <laughs> it's just, it's a little bit funny. I don't care what you think of Trump or any other president. It's a little bit funny that the guy that they all hate is the only one that isn't a descendant. <laughs> Gold. Gold. The coming for your children chant has been used for years at Pride events, according to longtime March attendees and gay rights activists, who said it's one of many provocative expressions used to regain control of slurs against LGBTQ people. You know, I'm going to go ahead and say that's one that you don't want to try and rein in and own and and control it just isn't it isn't something that yeah you should be chanting at any parade ever we're coming for your kids smoke from canada wildfires is increasing health risks in black and poor u.s communities uh doesn't it do that everywhere for everyone or is the smoke specifically targeting certain neighborhoods i didn't even know smoke had a consciousness hmm interesting you learn something every day the flag stands Disney for bed. us as a group of people being united and being with each other in a time of need this country was built Disney on slavery bed. which means slaves built this country the flag means everything to me it means life it means freedom it also means unity and it means love we the descendants of slaves in america have earned reparations for their suffering and continue to earn reparations every moment we spend submerged in the systemic prejudice racism and white, white supremacy. supremacy all the flags you know you ride down the street and it makes you feel connected like we're in this together we celebrate juneteenth for, for the umpteenth time our account is still outstanding because this country was built on slavery which means slaves built this country Kind of sad. They had a pretty good message. Unity. Uniting under one common identity. American. That's a, right? That's amazing. What happened to that? Very sad. New UK Army is considering replacing centuries-old ranks, such as riflemen and guardsmen, with gender-neutral terms because they are too masculine and to make regiments more inclusive. Back to what I said earlier. You know, it, it should specifically be merit-based and you should want to be strong you should want to be masculine out on the battlefield because that's what other countries do they don't care about all this woke nonsense that we're doing here in the west and uh if we don't do that we will get destroyed that's just a fact uh so the fact that this has reached the military is very concerning 
I cringe, I lose, I don't care. Titanic Tour CEO didn't hire 50 year old white guys because they weren't inspirational. Wasn't that guy a 50 year old white guy? 50, 60? Um, you know, what did I, what did we say about just merit based? For the first time in our lives, if you choose to celebrate the 4th of July in 2023, you will not be seen as a patriot, as someone who is thankful for living in the United States of America. You will be seen as a potential domestic terrorist. Wow. Sadly, he's, you know, he's right. If you, uh, if you believe in what Disney used to preach, you know, everyone uniting under the flag, common identity all of us have something in common no matter where you come from uh respecting each other everybody love everybody you know treat others how you want to be treated if you do that that's bad you believe in america you believe in the principles of america or what the principles were at least it's bad opinion ultimately hate of bicyclists comes from the same place as racism sexism homophobia and transphobia a desire to cling to the status quo power arrangements that favor some over others, writes Ruth Malone. Um, you know where it comes from? It comes from the idiots who have a 10-foot bike lane who hug the far left side and almost get hit and think that they have the right to be there and cause disruption to traffic or be in a 40 to 50 mile an hour zone and go 20 miles an hour almost cause accidents or not stop at stop signs or take a turn and not use their turn signals with their arms. That's where it comes from because a lot of them are in fact idiots. That's just where it comes from. This is the dumbest article I've ever seen, I think. Oscars voters rip into ridiculous new diversity rules for best picture. In the article, unless they feature a lead or significant supporting character from an underrepresented racial or ethnic group. They can't be nominated for Best Picture. That's a real thing. Woke Hollywood. Those are the new requirements. Storyline doesn't matter. Lesson of the movie doesn't matter. Ask a police officer a question. Sure, one moment. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Hi there. I was just looking to ask an officer a question, uh, and then I got forwarded to you. Um, is yeah. there... I just want to make sure I'm not working outside of any laws or anything like that. If you want to be out in the street you you have to be fully clothed and you can't be naked or anything like that right well i mean there are naked people running around on the street okay but is that against the law it, it, that'd be some mental health issues oh okay i agree with you on that one i i, I just i'm having a hard time yesterday i seen um a bunch of people naked in front of children and police officers, you know, seeing men with their penis out in front of kids. And I'm just wondering if that's acceptable. Was that part of the, was that part of the pride you mean? Was that yeah, on the weekend? Yeah, it was at the pride parade. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's always the issue then each year. Yeah. Is that, what's the issue with that? Sorry. Well, I mean, that happens every year. Oh, so like, it's kind of like, it's okay for when it's at the pride parade, but not in other situations, obviously. Exactly. I would, I would say so. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank Bye now. Do hmm. you know who that guy is? That's, that was a great call. Pretty, you know, well respected. Great question. Why is that uh, a thing? Uh, like, honest question. Why? Those are kids. But it's not okay another time. I, I'm just... It is a great, valid question. Kids are cute, but they're not really eco-friendly. What is that? The times? Times? Trends? What is that? Over over in the UK? And we're getting a lot of UK clips here. And again, this is real. People are doing this. They're pushing this. LGBTQ glossary from Johns Hopkins. Lesbian is a non-man attracted to non-men. Now, going down to gay men. A man who is emotionally, romantically, sexually, affectionately, or uh, relationally attracted to other men. A non-man, did you not want to define woman or, or uh, what, what's the situation here? That is one of, that is a Johns Hopkins. This isn't even some random blog site. This is at a supposedly reputable place. Can we get some clarification on this? I believe in the non-binary God whose pronouns are plural. 
I believe in Jesus Christ, their child, who wore a fabulous tunic and had two dads and saw everyone as a sibling child of God. I believe in the rainbow spirit who shatters our image of one white light and refracts it into a rainbow of gorgeous diversity. You know, I, uh... Went to church my whole life. Never, uh, never saw a non-binary God whose pronouns are plural. Hmm. What church is this? Flashing back, this was in Tuesday's video last week, but we have to go over it again in case you missed it. This is just beautiful. Supreme Court rejects affirmative action programs at Harvard and UNC. Uh, here's the beautiful part. This is Gavin Newsom's response. They want to whitewash our nation's history. And apparently, Gavin didn't even know the history of his own state because California banned affirmative action in public schools in 1996 and voted for it, voted to bring it back in 2020. And voters of California, very, 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 very heavily Democrat, voted against it. So, you know, you, you can't really say much here, Gavin. And look, what happened to your schools there? I can't believe you did that. I can't believe California didn't want to bring it back. The far right's obsession with fitness is going digital. There you go. If uh, you work out, if you like to work out, there is a political affiliation tied to that, which is far right, and you are bad, according to MSNBC. Today's Supreme Court decision is a direct attack on black people. No black person would be able to succeed in a merit-based system, which is exactly why affirmative action-based programs were needed. Today's decision is a travesty. That went very viral. And there's a lot of question as to whether that person's a real person or not. But I saw other people who said almost the same exact thing. Uh, this this account, before it ended up getting banned for being actually racist, this is a very racist tweet, tried to clarify. They tried to clarify what they were saying and, uh, you know, didn't work too well, got banned. But a lot of people were saying the same thing. It's very sad to look at someone else like that. But that's that's where they are. It's incredible. It's very sad. Cringe you lose. How would you do in today's video? Did you cringe at any of these things? If you did, you lose, and you're probably gonna get a ten thousand dollar fine and possibly a felony. All right, guys, I hate to say it, but I'm trying to I'm trying to get you guys on board with the new cultural shifts. That's what we do here at Z Education. In all honesty, though, this is insane. This is where we are. This is sad. Don't do this stuff. Don't get on board with this. Don't bend the knee to this stuff. This is insane. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there. Please like this video. Please help me get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Till next time, I'm Tyler Zed. This is Education. 12, 15. Oops, stepping on them. There's a, that's black. Anyway. Idiots.